Alright, so for merging duplicates, you find someone who has a possible duplicate. And over here on the right side of the screen, I'm down in the tools section, you'll see a link that says possible duplicates. Um, when you click on that, it'll bring up um, your main person up here at the top um, with all his information. His vital inf some of his vital information, and then below that are the matching people. They found three results for him. This first one has the same birth date, same parents, uh, same spouse. So I'm going to go ahead and click Review Merge, because I think that's the same person, but I want to see in more detail. Okay, so the person on the left is the person I was originally on. The person on the right is the possible duplicate. Um, and so we're going to keep information on the left. So if I want to keep any of the information that's currently on the right, I need to move it over to the left. So I'm going to go down. Um, for this birth, there was more information, so I moved it over to the left so I could keep it. Um, here on this death, there is a location, whereas on the left there isn't. So I'm going to click Replace because I want to keep that location information. If you want to click undo, you can put it back if you weren't sure. But I did want to do that, so I'm going to put it back in the left. Um, if you keep scrolling down, remember the things on the left are what's going to be kept. So I'm looking at his spouse and his children that are on the record I already had. And those children didn't show up on the other record on the right. But then there is another Mary Eliza Salisbury as his wife, and um, I'm checking the the ID numbers. This one's KW something something, um, and this Mary is L8. So those are two different records. Um, so I'm going to add them so that I have them both on the same page, and then I can go back later and combine them or merge them as well as duplicates. So I want to keep them attached to this person. Um, here's kind of a similar situation. These are his parents, and Edward is the same in both cases, same ID number, but Jane has two different ID numbers. Um, so it's two different records, so I want to keep both Jane's, and I'll go and merge them later. Um, all the information looks right, so I'm going to go ahead and click continue right here. Um, now I need to explain why I feel this merge is correct. Um, so saying that all the vital info the, all the vital dates are the same, as well as all the names of him and the family members. Um, but I'm also going to, just to be more specific, mention that this one on the right had um, more accurate birth and death locations. I'm going to go ahead and type that in. Um, just for the people in the future who see that I made this merge, they'll be able to know to know why I did that. So I just like to be as thorough as I can without writing a novel. Um, so, Anything else you feel like putting that will help people in the future understand the process that you went through in your mind as you made this merge? Alright. So I'm going to go ahead Oh, I'm going to say that, anyway. So remember again, the information on the left is the, one, the information that you'll be keeping. Everything on the right, as it says, will be um, deleted or archived at the end of the merge process. Um, and if you find that you've merged someone incorrectly, you can go back and change it. Um, anyway, so go ahead and you click Finish Merge on that box. It'll take a second. But now, if I look over, it took me back to the person I was originally on, and if I look down under latest changes here, it says that the merge was completed today by me. Um, so that's how you do it.